Ever since Chris Evans bid farewell to the MCU and Avengers Endgame, it's been like a Captain America-sized hole in our hearts. Fans have been rallying for his triumphant return, and it seems like there's a plot twist on the horizon that could make it happen. I mean, who wouldn't want Chris Evans to reprise his role as the star-spangled hero? Avengers Endgame was a roller coaster of emotions. Black Widow traded her life for a rock. Iron Man said his final witty quip, and Captain America went on a time-hopping journey to put the Infinity Stones back in their place. It was all very dramatic, but here's the kicker. Cap decided to hang up his shield and enjoy a quiet life after all that chaos. Who can blame him? But hold on to your vibranium shields, folks, because the fans have spoken. They want Cap back in action, and they've got a point. Chris Evans became the face of Captain America, battling villains like Red Skull and even duking it out with his fellow Avengers in Civil War. After a two-year hiatus, Cap, Black Widow, and Sam Wilson resurfaced in Avengers Infinity War, but there's still a lot of uncharted territory in their adventures. So the call for Cap's return to the MCU is loud and clear. It's like the fans are saying, we need our dose of Chris Evans in spandex pronto. One of the leading theories regarding what another Steve Rogers movie would look like relates to how he returned the Infinity Stones to their respective timelines after Avengers Endgame. However, the missing story that took place between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War would be a far more interesting story to tell. Far from the cosmic adventure that would unfold with Rogers returning the Infinity Stones, a nomad project in the MCU would be a grounded exploration of Steve Rogers' character, allowing Chris Evans to test his chops in a more subtle MCU story. In Marvel Comics' 1974 story, Captain America No. 180, Steve Rogers adopted the identity of Nomad after growing disillusioned with the U.S. government and abandoning his role as Captain America. However, his title as Nomad was short-lived, spanning only four issues before he resumed his Captain America persona. In the MCU, Steve Rogers operated as a fugitive for two years, a period that remains largely unexplored. While the Avengers Infinity War Prelude comics provided some insight into his activities during that time, it seems unlikely that this limited narrative fully captures the extent of Steve Rogers' experiences as a nomad. There are likely more untold stories and adventures that await exploration. On the other hand, the MCU already proved a nomad Steve Rogers movie could work. Although it may appear unconventional for Marvel Studios to create a retrospective story centered around one of its main heroes, they have previously done so with the 2021 film Black Widow. This movie was set in the two-year gap between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, even after Black Widow's demise. Scarlett Johansson reprised her role for this Phase 4 project, which served as a character study for Romanoff and delved into crucial aspects of her past. Similarly, a similar approach could be taken with Steve, exploring his journey and significant moments, providing an opportunity for character development and uncovering more about his story. While Black Widow may not have achieved the level of success Marvel Studios had anticipated, it still represented a significant advancement in the storytelling approach within the MCU. With numerous untold or lost stories for each prominent hero, there is ample potential for Marvel Studios to explore more retrospective adventures that fill in these gaps. A Nomad project featuring Steve Rogers as the main focus, set before his return in Avengers Infinity War, could offer a grounded, gritty, and realistic narrative that might entice Chris Evans to return to the MCU. This is especially true, considering that Captain America's previous solo projects always incorporated an element of realism. And can a nomad Steve Rogers movie be a way to preserve Sam Wilson's Captain America and offer a unique exploration of the character's journey in the MCU? Many fans are concerned about the potential return of Chris Evans as Captain America in the MCU. This concern revolves around the fact that the franchise has already established a new Captain America, Sam Wilson, played by Anthony Mackie. In Avengers Endgame, Steve Rogers passed on the Captain America mantle and shield to Sam Wilson, after retiring in the past following the return of the Infinity Stones. This momentous transition was expertly portrayed in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where Sam's evolution from Falcon to Captain America was thoughtfully explored, carrying immense emotional weight. It is crucial not to overlook or undermine the significance of Sam's acceptance of the mantle, as it marks an important development in the MCU's narrative. Sam Wilson's growth as the MCU's Captain America is essential, and he is set to appear in Phase 5's Captain America New World Order. However, the potential return of Steve Rogers' Captain America 
could complicate this narrative progression. To avoid disrupting Sam's journey, it might be wiser for Marvel Studios not to bring back Chris Evans as Captain America in the present timeline. Instead, a Nomad project could be an ideal alternative. Through Nomad, Marvel can deliver a heartfelt and intense Steve Rogers story without delving into his legacy as Captain America, thus giving Sam Wilson the space to fully embrace the role without feeling overshadowed or undermined by Steve's presence. This approach would allow both characters to shine in their respective journeys and contribute to the richness of the MCU's storytelling. Okay, but have you ever wondered what Steve Rogers does at the end of Avengers Endgame? In Avengers Endgame, Steve's story as Captain America concludes with a long-awaited dance with Peggy, marking a significant moment for the character. Marvel managed to end Steve's Captain America journey without resorting to his death. As you all know, the potential Nomad project could continue Steve's narrative, exploring what happened to him after he left Earth-616 and married Peggy in an alternate reality. The dance scene between Steve and Peggy sparked debates among Marvel fans as it wasn't entirely clear which reality Captain America settled in. The official and most logical explanation is that he went back in time to a different reality, essentially creating a new branch in Earth-616's timeline as he altered the past. The introduction of the TVA in Loki raised questions about Captain America's marriage to Peggy in Avengers Endgame. One possible explanation is that the TVA might have intervened, but Steve married Peggy after Sylvie killed the He Who Remains Kang variant, creating a new branch in the timeline. Another theory is that Steve made some sort of deal with that particular Kang variant. This scenario adds an intriguing twist to the narrative. According to what we know from Avengers Endgame, Steve Rogers accomplished his final mission by returning all of the stones and Thor's hammer to their original timelines, ensuring that those realities remain unaffected. A compelling speculation emerges around the possibility of Steve Rogers encountering a Kang variant who requests his help to defeat the most dangerous variant of Kang in Earth-616's future. This could lead to Steve's involvement in the Secret War storyline. In return for his assistance, the Kang variant, who eventually becomes the new He Who Remains, might allow Steve to retire with Peggy in his original timeline. This is all conjecture, but it highlights the exciting potential for a Nomad post-Endgame story. Marvel has reportedly considered exploring this idea for Nomad, but they might have faced challenges in figuring out how to deliver such a narrative. Nonetheless, the concept showcases the rich possibilities that exist for further expanding Steve Rogers' journey beyond Avengers Endgame. Well, that's it for today. What do you guys think? Can a Nomad Steve Rogers movie preserve Sam Wilson's Captain America? Tell me in the comments section. Stay tuned and keep your minds open.